So today, Nintendo had a Nintendo Direct. One of those shows where they uh, tell you all the latest that's going on with the company, uh, with game releases, system releases, all that fun stuff. I took a lot of notes because they announced a lot of stuff. Um, and basically, to kind of sum it up for you, uh, port, indie, port, 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 indie, port, port, indie, port, 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 smash. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, Splatoon 2 has some uh, DLC that's coming. That's that's something we could talk about another time. Let's pocket that. Let's pocket that. More Splatoon. Yeah, everybody likes that. It's cool. I'll, I'll probably buy it. But today, we need to talk about Super Smash Brothers. Because I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. Uh, as far as my predictions go, I was uh, uh, mostly wrong about Mario Kart Aces. Um... They showed about seven minutes rather than uh, 10 minutes. I thought they were gonna go over 10 for sure and just like make that game boring for me. But but you know, they did they did an okay job. I, I think they talked about it enough to tease it and to make me wanna know more. I do wanna know more, but not right now because I'm talking about Smash. Uh, Fire Emblem, no dice. Super Smash Bros. Deluxe, am I right or am I wrong? I don't know, because they announced Smash, but it's devoid of any sort of branding. You know, the, the, those sort of flames that were present in uh, in the Wii U version, the, the, the blue that was here, the, the red that was in the 3DS, I thought it might be like something like that. It, you know, there were the sort of the flames coming out of the logo for that version of Super Smash Bros, but this is something that is uh, supposed to be different. So what are we getting here? It seems too early to have another Smash game. I mean, we went from Super Smash Bros. in, I believe, uh, 1998, 99, to the quick turnaround of Melee in 2001, but, you know, different times. We we were going from 64 to GameCube, and now, um, you know, the jump from Wii U to Switch isn't large at all, but games just take a long time to make nowadays. And so, from Melee to Brawl, we had from 2001 to 2008, and then from uh, Brawl to Smash 4, we had from 2008 to 2014, and Nintendo always wants another Smash. So it doesn't, it, it doesn't seem, you know, likely that they, they take much time in between. I know that Sakurai had made uh, the Kid Icarus game, but, you know, I... You know, they, they, they always want these Smash games to come as soon as possible. They're system sellers. They get the, the Nintendo base riled up like a cult. And I I, I want to be in that cult right now. They, if, I, if I'm being honest, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Uh, the, the, if you haven't seen the trailer, what are you doing watching this, for, first of all? Second of all, go watch it. Uh, it's at the very end of the Direct. The rest of the Direct, eh. eh, eh. It, it, a lot of ports. Many ports. Uh, the Switch is going to have a lot of ports for the next like couple years, but Smash—they're billing it as something different. It seems. I feel like if it was a port, they would tell us. They'd have to. They'd, they'd have to, you know, level expectations before they get out of hand because they're getting out of hand. I'm starting to expect an entirely new Smash game which is what I'd I'd prefer because I didn't really even, you know, out of all of them, the Wii U isn't my favorite one. It probably isn't even my second favorite one. So I do want another crack at Smash. I want an, another crack at Smash with new guys uh, running the team rather than uh, Masahiro Sakurai. He's done his time. He's uh, definitely established the series. It wouldn't exist without him. But I think it's time for some some fresh blood, some fresh eyes, you know, kind of like the, the, the sort of fresh perspectives that we got on uh, Zelda for Breath of the Wild and uh, for Mario and Mario Odyssey. You know, get, get some new people in there making decisions uh, creatively. But, but yeah, that's... I'm so conflicted because at the same time, how could they have an entirely new Smash game ready by now? And they always reuse assets inside of the Smash Brothers series. I mean, Donkey Kong had that disgusting leg lift attack from the 64 to Brawl, and uh, they didn't change it until the Wii U version. Mario's moveset is largely unchanged from when it first happened as far as, you know, what the attacks were and how they worked. And so there's a lot of stuff that they sort of reuse, um, including the if you looked at Smash 4's 
early screenshots, they would even reuse character portraits in official um, advertisements for like Diddy Kong and, and some of the characters that were, were developed later on. And so I, I just, I don't know what to think, guys. I don't know what to think. I'm totally torn on this. I feel like it's going to be a deluxe-ish. If it is a new Smash game, we're going to see a lot of old content resurfacing. And I don't think that's the right move. I think this either needs to be a, uh, a Super Smash Bros. DX or something entirely new. And if it does this weird in-between thing where it feels a lot like Smash for Wii U, but it's trying to build it as a new one, that makes it all the more difficult to introduce a new Smash game that's, that's entirely new later on down the Switch's life cycle. And as much as people want this port to be on switch it's not going to sell as much as the other one is because it's been out on two other systems and some people are just not not going to be into buying it a third time if they bought the 3ds and the wii u version but <laughs> but i am because i'm a psychopath that's why i feel like you know maybe they're bold enough to do it and this will be their big fall title maybe they've been working on this behind the scenes since smash 4 was released and you know ever since it, it, it went gold and and they they've had like the main team working on that it's very weird what's also weird is that they're using specifically the splatoon 1 characters as uh being in smash while splatoon 2 is a thing that's a little bit confusing you, you thought they might have went with uh, two inklings from uh from both games but that's a nitpick it's just so weird and here's why I feel like it might be a new Smash game. I think it's a new Smash game because of the way that they're branding it. That video had a very aggressive tone about it. And what's more interesting is that Link, one of the characters that that were featured, he looks different than his Smash 4 counterpart. Of course, he is wearing the new Breath of the Wild garb. And while that could just be something, you know, it's not that hard to change Link's outfit inside of Smash 4. I'm sure there's mods that already do it. But from a perspective of putting that sort of Link on the front of the box and, and making that sort of change, I feel like that makes a statement and that tells us that this is not just a, a shameless port. This is going to be an entirely new experience. Mario also looked a little bit different than his Smash 4 iteration. And, you know, while it's, it's, it's Mario, it's not like he's going to look drastically different. It just sends this message that maybe this isn't a port. Maybe this is entirely new. And if they've just been gunning it since... 2014 it's it's possible it's possible that they could be doing this it's certainly possible how likely it is is where i'm kind of where i'm kind of squirrely on it because while there is all that stuff that i said making a case for why it could be a new smash there's also the whole fact that how do you how do you put a dx on this game you know it, it's super smash bros for wii u and the 3ds one was super smash bros for 3ds and i guess they could call the super smash bros for switch and use the same kind of logo and typeface but but you know how do you how do you rebrand this how do you how do you put a dx on it you, it's not like mario kart 8 or a Pokemon tournament where uh, it just kind of exists in in that one title. So, I I don't know what to think. I I want to talk about this. I want to deliberate. Talk to me in the comments. Is this a new Smash? Is this a ported Smash? Is this a heavy mixture? And by mixture, I don't mean that like you know people are going to have similar move sets and they're going to use the same characters. Of course, they're going to do that. But is it going to be like? 80% Smash 4 and 20% Smash 5 and are they gonna try and like bill it as an entirely new Smash? Sometimes I feel like Nintendo is like kind of trying to like they pretend that the Wii U didn't happen with all the ports that we got today. I mean my goodness they're just porting everything they, there's no like holding back uh, they're trying and, and I respect them trying to have one big release every month but I mean they're even porting Captain Toad to the 3DS. Why? Wow crazy why i i don't know i don't know but yeah that's that was the nintendo direct i was really wrong i thought shovel knight was gonna dig in but i guess i guess i'm wrong so what what's uh what's your thoughts talk to me in the comments 
I know this is this is kind of a, a rambly episode, but but I'm shook. I'm shook, and uh, and we need we need to talk about this. Gosh, only uh, what what three more months for, before E3? I can't wait that long no more. I feel like we'll get a press release in like five hours saying, "Hey, just just so you know, it's just it's just Smash Four again." But I'm holding on to hope. I'm holding on because I feel like. This could be a new smash. And you could have wave dashing and L canceling. No, it's not gonna have that. It's gonna be kind of like a little out of the smash. But you know, at that point, I, it, should I really be excited about the gameplay and stuff? But you know, at the same time, I'm gonna buy it. Cause like I said, I'm a psychopath. I live for this stuff. I would eat this microphone if it were sitting between me and a new Super Smash Brothers game. I do want to do some follow-up episodes on like the arms tournament and uh, what that sort of means for that community, the Splatoon paid DLC, and uh, you know just stuff like that. I I um I do want to talk about that, but for today, it's all about that smash, my brother, my boy. It's all about that smash. What what, what even else happened? Where am I? What is my name? So yeah, this has been Nintendo Nightly. My name is Michael Cottrell. It's been a pleasure just uh, cracking open my brain and letting it leak out here on, on a microphone. And we'll just have to wait and see. But let's get a conversation going. I want to know what you think. And we'll have some affiliate links for the games that were announced today in the description. If you want to pre-order any of those through Amazon, that uh, gives us a kickback to the show, helps the show run, um, because your boy is not monetized right now, and I would greatly appreciate it. But until next time, tomorrow night, I'll see you. Have a good, have a good night. Have a good night uh, marinating on that, that, that Smash announcement. Man. Man, man, man. Man, man.